run down these park avenues towards the perimeter. Now, some of them are wide in the road. Okay, go back a few days later, they're putting a sidewalk all the way down that road to the elementary school. Nobody's walking. There's more people walking down Forest Street than there is to, to the elementary school. I know they're building the big high school out there, I'm the vision of that, but there's nobody walking on that road. But there's people walking down Forest Street. I came that way today to come to this meeting. There's people walking up and down that street along the grass, walking in a little dirt trail along that road. But it doesn't make sense to put a brand new sidewall way out there to nowhere. It doesn't, it, it doesn't make sense. It, I don't know, I'm not a road person, but I don't think that would affect you a lot of the time. Now, Beaman's Road, way out there in the cornfield, it's, it's a sidewall I've never seen like that. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate your honesty. Now, it's my understanding. Um, it's not economical. I know regulations laws have to put sidewalk out. But that's not the middle of cornfield or meeting space. The little I do know about the Park Avenue project, it's been uh, in the making for a while. It was a part of what they call Safe Routes for School project, that was a grant that was applied for and all. And it's been in the making for a while as well. Uh, but I totally understand what you all are saying about the forest street, hands down. Uh, I go back to one of the issues I had with Splash initially, uh, when we was looking at Splash 7. Um, truth be told, uh, there were projects that have been done that were not, and never were on Splash list, such as the James Road, which you basically had five billion or so dollars came out of thin air. It was never on the list yet, you know, we were supposed to honor it. And so I, I understand. Councilman Wright. Just a couple of quick comments on the 